Please watch this entire video before you begin the assignment. At the end of the video, if you still have a question that hasn't been answered in the video, please reach out to me immediately so I can help you out. For this activity, you will need two plain paper plates. Uh, I thought you guys enjoyed working with the paper plate for the activity a few months ago, um, and I thought we'd do something with paper plates again, except this time you're going to need two plain paper plates. If you don't have them right now, or if your paper plates have color or pictures, you can do the activity on paper and then glue the paper to the plates later on. You'll need a pencil, and you will need colored pencils, markers, paint, crayons, something like that. So here we have a plain paper plate. And what you're going to do is you're going to, best you can, you can draw a circle or you can even cut out uh, you know, from a piece of paper a circle. Or you could even open up a Word document. And if you know how to do this, um, you can create a shape or you can type what you want in here as well. And what you're going to put in here is push factors. And you're going to write the definition word for word. Now, I went over this in the last video, but I, I put up the definition of push factors here. So what you're going to need to do is, is in this circle area on your plate, you're going to need to put push factors and this definition exactly as it says. Uh, if you can type this into a Word document and then cut it out and glue it, that might be easiest. But if that's not an option, just be very careful with your writing. And I realize you might need to write kind of small. That's OK, as long as you have this definition in the center here. Uh, try to make this circle about the same shape you know, so you have plenty of room on the outside of the plate. Once you've done that, you're going to take a pencil or a marker and you're going to draw a line this way. You're going to draw a line this way. Now, if you don't want to draw the line through the words, maybe you can stop the line here. Uh, just because I have it going through the words doesn't mean you have to. I realize you may not want to put it through the words, and that's completely fine. Next step when you're done that, in each of the four sections, one, two, three, four, you're going to draw an example of a push factor. Any push factor that you can think of. And again, in the previous video, I give you lots and lots of examples. You're going to need to draw pictures different picture in each of these sections. Make the picture as large and as detailed as you possibly can. When you're done that, stop. When you're done with push factors, grab the other plate and then just repeat the instructions for pull factors. And I give you the definition of pull factors right here, so you don't have to go back to find that. When you're done with both, you're going to get some glue and glue the plates back to back. You now have push factors on one side and pull factors on the other side. When you're done that, if you want, you can attach a string to the top, punch a hole, and you have a little mobile. And that's probably what I would do if we were working on this actually in school. When you are completely done this, you'll take a picture of each side and turn it in to its learning. For full credit, please use the rubric below. This is basically what's called a rubric. Um, it kind of is and it kind of isn't, but this is what I'm going to be grading you on. You will not be graded on your artistic ability, but make sure you do your very best work. This will impact your grade. You must use color to enhance your drawings. Your drawings must clearly identify an example of a push or pull factor. That just means make sure that your drawings are clearly push or pull factors. And in each of your drawings, in each of the four sections, you may not use more than six words. Again, I put these slides up here. They're the same uh, images that were in the, the previous video. This might help you save you some time going back and forth. Um, push factors and pull factors. Push, pull, push, 
and pull. So at this point, rewind the video if you need to. If you have any questions, make sure that they weren't answered in the video. If you do have questions, reach out to me right away so I can help you out. And good luck.